Communities in Pilsen are a prime example of the naturalized growth of Latino immigrants to Chicago. You can see this through their extensive amounts of culture. While there has been a lot of growth in the Latino community in Chicago, we see that they are falling behind in education due to external factors such as gang violence, difficult home lives, and underfunding. While certain communities struggle with education, you can see the perseverance of the community through its after-school programs, and more importantly, the people behind them. We had the opportunity to sit down with the youth programs manager at Gads Hill Center here in Pilsen. With the predominantly Hispanic population, it is important that there are pillars in the community like this to ensure Hispanic children can have educational support. So my name is Jerry Silva. I'm the youth programs manager down here at Gads Hill uh, and have been for the past two years. I uh, originally started with the organization um, three years ago as the enrollment and recruitment specialist. Over 120 years, we've been supporting youth and families um, in the Pilsen, back, or Pilsen, Brighton Park, and the North Lawndale communities. Um, we provide a lot, a lot of the educational resources, uh, and so we do a lot of the early Head Start, Head Start programs, early childhood programs. Here at this location, I oversee all of the youth programs. Uh, within the organization and so we provide a holistic approach into the way we run after school programming. We have a curriculum in place that supports our youth school age and our teens. Both programs are very different um, but similar in a lot of ways. Uh, our school age program we offer the social emotional learning support, some of the mental health services and, and uh, opportunities uh, as well as the STEAM based curriculum that is super important for us. Every single day, there's a different activity that is done in the classroom. It's important for us to have age-appropriate classrooms, and so all of our youth um, are in classrooms where youth are, are very similar in age, and so we'll, we'll, we divide them by clubs. So our club ones, you're always going to have five and six-year-olds, club two, seven and eights, club three, nine and tens, and then our club four are 11 and 12-year-olds. And then obviously our teen program, they're kind of all together. But I think the best way to describe the activities and their growth, we want to make sure that they're providing opportunities for them to, to be able to learn and grow and make responsible decisions. My biggest goal for that program is that we create well-rounded students um, and hope that they become better citizens of, of our city. Gads Hill, when they, when they first started, um, it was a settlement house. And so during the Great Migration, we had families actually live here. So if you go up to the third, third floor, um, you can see the, the way that the rooms were set up uh, were for families to actually live in, in the building. When parents or adults would leave the building um, for work, Gads Hill was responsible for providing some of that education to the kids. Uh, and so that was, you know, guitars, that was um, how to, you know, build things with their hands. It was the, the math, the science, the literacy, everything like that. And so we provided most of the educational uh, opportunities for the youth while they were here and then parents were out working, so.